This is the story of one of the most unexpected escape artists of the Civil War. Her name was Pauline Cushman, and her 1864 first-hand account of infiltration, capture, and escape from behind Confederate lines is unlike any other passed down through history. My object in this little work is not to seek mere notoriety, but simply to state in homely and truthful language the plain facts of my experience in the Secret Army Service as a federal scout and spy. Two brutal years of war have passed, and there is no end in sight. By the middle of 1863, the death toll is rising. There are people living in the far north who are beginning to wonder what this is all for. The United States still can't seem to bring this war to an end. But this is the year that will change everything. The critical Union victories at Gettysburg and Vicksburg lie on the horizon. And a third conflict, known as the Tullahoma Campaign, will be fought between the armies of General Braxton Bragg for the Confederates and General William Rosecrans from the United States Army. This campaign will determine the fate of Tennessee. Middle Tennessee is important because it provides the rail access and the river access into the heartland of the Confederacy. If you want to pierce the heart of the Confederacy, you have to get through the Confederate Army at Middle Tennessee. A major battle is only a matter of time. Fear and anticipation spread from Tennessee out to neighboring states like Kentucky, which is a Union state, but also home to many Confederate sympathizers. Kentucky was arguably at the crossroads of the United States between the North and the South. It is a state where there will be families literally fighting with each other because of their commitment either to the institution of slavery or their commitment to the United States and all that it represented. Soldiers and spies on both sides are on the lookout for any possible advantage 